Hello my little sugar silicones! Welcome back to the My True Life YouTube channel. My name is Kaya Quintana and I love to journal. And on my YouTube channel, we design our true lives one journal page at a time. So if that's something you would like to do, come over to the dark side. We've got cookies. We actually do have a lot of cookies because <laughs> I like cookies. Um, but without further ado, this video is about ephemera. And ephemera is or are because it could be multiple things, but basically it means that it is words or prints on paper, illustrations on paper that are meant for temporary use. Now a very simple example of that could be a newspaper, a folder or a brochure or even a magazine that people read and then toss away. So anything printed or written on paper meant for temporary use can be seen as ephemera. So it could also be a ticket from a theme park that you went to, you can classify that as ephemera. So in this video, I wanna show you how I find, collect and store my ephemera from my bullet journal. Because if you are new to my YouTube channel or you've been with me for a while, you know that I love collage art a lot <laughs> in my bullet journals. And I also have a common place book that I collage art in pretty much all the time. So for me, ephemera is very important. And if you don't know why you should be collecting ephemera, well, you don't have to do anything. But a good reason why you could collect ephemera is because A, it doesn't have to cost you anything because ephemera can be found around your house. Um, and you can also ask friends and family to help you with like giving you old books and newspapers or magazines. And then second, reduce, reuse and recycle. And third, if you're like me, you probably love creating something new out of something old or something out of nothing because that is basically what we do in our journals. We are the writers of our own journals, AKA books of life. Uh, so <laughs> that's why ephemera might be handy for you because we don't always have the money or we don't want to spend the money on millions of washi tapes, stickers, um, pre-made paper, pre-printed paper that we have to buy. So ephemera it is. So let's get to it right diddy. <laughs> Start by deciding what kind of style you'd like to create in your bullet journal and or collages. It makes it easier to find and create fitting ephemera. I usually go for collages and bullet journal spreads with a touch of fashion, funny pictures and a vintage or retro vibe. Which means I often look for old books with retro prints, photos and magazines about fashion and art. Then it's time to look around your house to see if you already have fitting ephemera lying around. Think of old postcards, Polaroid pictures, all kinds of magazines, old books, flyers, craft and wrapping paper. Anything that people usually throw out because it's for temporary use is ephemera and perfect for your journals and collages. Don't forget to hit up family and friends. They often also have old magazines and books lying around that you can use to create ephemera. One man's junk is another man's treasure. The best part of finding ephemera in your own house and being gifted ephemera is that it doesn't cost you a thing. It also means you're part of the reduce, reuse and recycle movement. Yay! <laughs> and when I need some new ephemera, my favorite place to find affordable pieces is a thrift store. Thrift stores often have a big range of old books and stacks of magazines. I've noticed that at my local thrift stores, people also often drop off fairly new magazines. They're usually in really good shape and full of beautiful pictures and illustrations. I also found a really big box of old National Geographic magazines, which cost me only one euro for a stack of five magazines. I mean, that's a good deal, baby. If I can't find what I'm looking for in my house or at the thrift store, I do sometimes invest in new magazines. You often see me use a Flow magazine because I have a subscription and I recently bought three new fashion magazines because I need some fashion ephemera for my collages. Now that you've got your books and magazines, it's time to harvest them. Harvest? Yes. I recently learned that people use that term to say they're selecting fitting images and pages from their books and magazines. I think it's a really cute term and now I'm using it too. 
By the way, there's no right or wrong way to harvest your ephemera from books and magazines. Just make sure you take out everything you really like and that fits your vision for the creations or art that you'd like to make. I've been harvesting ephemera for a while now, so I developed a system for myself that allows me not to miss a thing. I usually sit down with a drink, a snack, and a nice show in the background while I go through my books and magazines. I take about an hour or two to find individual pictures, illustrations, and entire pages for my ephemera stash. It depends on what type of collage and bullet journal spreads I'm planning to make. I always end up looking for that vintage and retro vibe. Then I move on to special illustrations, pictures of people, animals, or interesting objects. I also look for backgrounds and textures for layering purposes. This is an important step for me because when I collage or work on my bullet journal spreads, I want my ephemera ready to go. So after harvesting, I start sorting and storing my selection immediately. If I have the time, I will start by cutting out images so I can save myself some time in the future. I cut off rough edges or use a cutting knife to create some detailed pieces like these cute little people right here. While sorting, I put everything in the right pile or I create new categories. For example, I created a pile for backgrounds, black and white pictures, pictures of people, animals and illustrations. When I've sorted my harvest, I grab my binders to store all of my ephemera I just made. I have two types of binders at the moment. I have an A5 binder for the smaller pieces and paper scraps and the other one is an A4 document holder for big backgrounds. I use my A5 binder with transparent document protectors so I can see what's in them. And my system isn't perfect yet, but I know where to find everything so I'm on the right track. <laughs> I decided to put the smaller pieces of ephemera in the front and big ones like backgrounds in the back. I also sort on color, theme and or style. You don't have to use my method by the way. Nope, it is up to you how you sort and store your ephemera. Just make sure it works for your own workflow. However, I do highly recommend using binders with clear protectors and pockets because it allows you to safely store your ephemera and also find whatever you need or look for faster. It's better than throwing everything in a shoebox and having to sort through it every time you need a piece of ephemera. This is how you create, collect and store your ephemera. I hope I was able to inspire you to scour around your house, go on a treasure hunt and find yourself some ephemera. Don't forget that you can also ask your friends and family and check your local thrift store to really find ephemera that doesn't have to cost a lot. Maybe you can get it for free and that you can use to create beautiful art pieces in your journals or art journals. So if this video was helpful in any way, definitely let me know in the comments below because I would love to make more how two videos that really cater to what you need as a my true life artist designer and journaler so let me know in the comments below thumbs up this video and subscribe if you want to see more because this youtube channel is all about journaling and designing your true life aka the life you really want to live through getting your goals down in your journals and actually achieving them so Yep, that's what we do over here. So thank you so much for watching. Follow me on the gram for in between updates. And I also have a TikTok where I show little collages in between. And I'll see you in the next video. See you. Goodbye. I love you. Ta-ta.